Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, and today it's time to get into some seriously subjective stuff once again with the conclusion of my One Piece anime opening rankings, which is going to feature what I personally consider to be the top 10 best openings. If you haven't seen the first video, I highly recommend watching it, and a link will be in the description below, but I suggest doing so so that you don't ask me questions like, bruh, where's Jungle P? Because the answer is, you're not going to find it here. It was on the previous list, along with all of your other favorites, apparently. Seriously though, I love the response that the last video got, because it's always wonderful to see how different people identify with different openings for a wide array of reasons. And so I'm very excited to share with you the 10 openings that have impacted me the most during my time with the series. And with that out of the way, let's begin. In. Welcome to part two of the official Grand Line Review Anime Opening Rankings. Number 10. Hands up. All right, so opening 16 is an absolute gem of One Piece, so much so that I want to put it much higher, but I just couldn't bring myself to, because I loved everything else significantly more. Hands Up has one of my favorite openings to an opening, in that it starts with this hand-drawn incarnation of the straw hats, and then gradually filling in the color, and then finally becomes animation. It's a very simple idea, but it's pulled off so well, and it really makes me feel like I'm about to go on a creative and wonderful journey, which is bang on what I want when I'm watching One Piece. And the song itself is an intriguing creature, because I wouldn't call it the style of energy that I would normally go for in my general musical taste, but this song never once loses me. It has just enough, I don't know what the word is, but I guess I'll call it an incredible spirit, behind it that it can take you through the musical lulls and then escalate into a grand adventure. An example of one of those slow moments would be just before the final chorus, when the silhouettes of the straw hats each appear one by one in their trademark colors, and it's just such a nice little intimate touching moment. Whereas immediately afterwards, we go into my favorite section where they briefly animate a whole bunch of color spreads, but they only give you like a couple of seconds to appreciate the madness of what's happening before moving on. All in time with the music, and yes, I love that sort of stuff. Now, what holds hands up back to me is the entire Punk Hazard section. I don't think it matches musically, and I honestly think you could have gotten rid of everything and just animated some more color spread fun. The song is such a joy to listen to that shoving all of the modern context of Punk Hazard in there just feels quite jarring to me. But yeah, very well done, hands up. Always a joy to listen to, and one of my all-time favorites. Number nine. Fight together. Now this is what I'm talking about. When I say that I enjoy music with energy, the kind of beat that opening 14 has behind it is an instant hook to me. And the weird thing is that Fight Together isn't an overwhelming song either. It's actually quite slow and focuses on One Piece in a very leisurely and subtle manner, with a lot of it showing Ace, Luffy, and Sabo playing around as kids. And it also includes a brilliant montage of Luffy recruiting the Straw Hats and everything is just so satisfying, I guess. Well, all except one thing. The one negative I have in regards to Fight Together is that kind of jazzy breakdown that happens just before the first chorus, during which time they show all the straw hats doing their training business at their respective locations around the world. And when I first heard this shift in sound, I was actively disgusted. I remember thinking, yep, you've just ruined a perfectly good song. And to anyone who enjoys that section, that's cool. But after I've settled into a beautiful EDM experience, the last thing I want is for a completely different style to intrude on that. To be fair to this section though, the animation of all of the straw hats is pretty wonderful, but my favorite part of Fight Together is the portion where Ace appears behind Luffy and gives him that little push forward. Ace stuff doesn't usually hit me very hard, but every time I watch this, I feel something incredible incredibly bittersweet, and it's a huge credit to both the song and the visuals for managing to achieve this. Plus, you will never be able to fault the voice of Nami Aomoto, and thankfully, this is not the last time that you'll be seeing her music on this list. Number eight, Hard Knock Days. Mmm. So opening 18 is one of those things that mercilessly hits you in the face right off the bat. There's no like relaxing introduction, no, it's straight into action. And that first shot of Luffy punching through the Marine base is as iconic in my mind as some of the greatest actual moments of the series. Hard Knock Days is also home to what I would call the best straw hat action montage in any One Piece opening, with a ferocious assault from Luffy followed by stellar shots of every member of the crew, giving each of them an equal piece of glory. Even Nami and Usopp, who I usually feel get the short end of the stick in these sorts of things. I think that Hard Knock Days also succeeds in very appropriately framing the events of Dressrosa as well, because whenever Dressrosa specific characters or scenes are included, they feel like they fit quite nicely with the music, which is something that I don't often think is the case. Like for example, when I was complaining about the Punk Hazard stuff in Hands Up. But Hard Knock Days is just a wonderful assault of energy from start to finish, and it's hard not to be excited for an episode after watching it. Even if those episodes are the, uh, the ill-fated Dressrosa adaptation. Number seven. Superpowers. 
So I think this is definitely going to be the most controversial placement on this combined list because Superpowers is a very divisive song. In fact, if you're familiar with the video where I reviewed this opening specifically, you'd know that I initially did not look at this one very favorably at all. The way it begins is admittedly cringy as hell, with the vocals just going, yes, we've got superpowers, over and over and over again. But this song has such a deadly hook to it. Because as soon as the chorus begins and I see Jinbei in action, Superpowers has me completely on board. And after that point, the song is actually able to earn its lyrics when it says, yes, we've got superpowers, because both musically and visually, it has built itself up to the point where I'm so into it that I'm just like, hell yeah, we've got superpowers. So I really wish that the opening didn't start with repeating that over and over. And in fact, in the full version of the song, it doesn't, which I think helps it infinitely as a piece of music. But what can you do? I think this opening also resonates very strongly with me because it features a lot of Luffy versus Katakuri action, which is one of my all time favorite fights in the series. So I can't help but be captivated by that. Apart from the weak opening of the opening though, the other thing that holds Superpowers back is its inconsistent animation. There are moments where the animation is stunning, and there are moments where it's like the animators have just shat something out at the last second and gone, huh, that'll do. Yeah, we've got superpowers, sure. The primary example is that final section where we focus on the non whole Cake Island straw hats, and they just look absolutely awful. I mean, the art style is, it's not bad, I guess, for that period of the anime, but their actions look so pitifully weak in contrast to such a powerful and catchy song. But with all of that, Superpowers is probably one of, if not the most listened to One Piece track on my MP3 player. I find it to be great for any situation, whether I'm working and need some background energy or running and need some musical inspiration or whatever. Any time is a good time for Superpowers. And as much as it does have its flaws, it is my ultimate guilty pleasure. I love Superpowers and I have no qualms whatsoever with placing it this high on the list. Number six, Over the Top. So at the time of this recording, Over the Top is the most recent anime opening, beginning the events of Wano. And what a triumph it is. One of the reasons why I've been holding off on making this list is because I wanted to give Over the Top the time it deserved to fully form itself in my mind. And I'm glad I did because if I'd done it any earlier, then it probably wouldn't even be in the top 10. But Over the Top is fantastic and it benefits immensely from the Wano rejuvenation of the One Piece anime. It is undoubtedly the most well animated opening in the history of the series, featuring an incredible Wano centric cast and environment that is a treat to view from start to finish. And the song, well, this is where Hiroshi Kitatani hits it out of the park once more, along with Kohei Tanaka, who is responsible for the actual music this time around. Over the Top does, however, have some questionable elements, which does prevent it from being my absolute favorite. The most egregious of which is the fact that the ultimate buildup of the chorus always leads to a clip segment of what's coming up in the individual episode, which I hate in general. But my biggest problem is that cutting to these clips always slows down the visual pace at the point in the song where things are at their most energetic. So it ends up being a massive anticlimax, and I despise having to cut to generally slow moving scenes while this glorious chorus is playing out. And yes, it does get better when the visuals finally switch to Luffy versus Kaido, which synergizes with the music astonishingly. And you know, overall, Over the Top is a breath of fresh but familiar air into a series spanning over two decades. So it is still a fantastic accomplishment. Number five, we go. Itch, ni, san, shine. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. We Go stands out to me as a great opening because kind of like Over the Top, it was a perfect rejuvenation of the series, being our introduction into the post time skip era. And so in a brilliant decision, Hiroshi Kitatani, who performed the very first opening, We Are, was brought back to give One Piece a modern spin, whilst being able to retain that nice sense of nostalgia. And it was amazingly blended together so much so that I ended up loving We Go even more than We Are. And actually, I guess more than the large majority of openings in the series, given how high it is. It's honestly hard to point out a single flaw with this opening. The animation is super schmick, the artistic direction is inspired, and the song is a perfect fit, not only for the series, but for the contextual story period in which it helmed the One Piece anime adaptation. My personal favorite part of We Go is the section where we have that lovely shot of a young Roger who becomes a young Shanks, and then a young Luffy who grows up into his now post time skip form. Very few openings have done something that wonderful to watch, and then they follow it up with a mighty last chorus featuring the whole crew, and it's just such quality material from start to finish. Number four, Hope. Namie Amuro is back and 
better than ever. As much as I was really not a fan of how Whole Cake Island was adapted, hope is the thing that always gave me hope whenever I began an episode. Just as with Fight Together, hope takes advantage of great energetic beats juxtaposed against Nami Aomura's pristine vocals. But unlike Fight Together, hope never forgets what it is. Like there isn't any inter-genre splicing, and as a result, I am allowed to enjoy the entire journey that is hope. The opening also manages to strike the right balance between arc-specific events and including the rest of the Straw Hats in a more general context. And in fact, one of my favorite moments is where after the end of the first chorus, the song kind of winds down a bit and we cut to the sunny with Sanji opening a door and holding up a picnic basket, which is a very sweet visual. And really, if we didn't have to have the two minute 30 openings in the modern era, that would have been a perfect place to end it and just begin the episode. Luckily, Hope is so good that even though it does go on for quite a while, I am never complaining about more of it. I love this song, and apart from the adaptation of Snake Man and the Soul Pocus musical number, I think that Hope is the crowning achievement of the Whole Cake Island anime era. Number three, Kokoro no Chizu. All right, we're getting serious now. There may be only a mere one number difference at play here, but the degree to which I love these top three openings isn't even comparable to anything we've explored so far. And the first of those is opening five, Kokoro no Chisu, which is immediately recognizable as being the one that starts out with all of the straw hats falling through the sky and each doing a signature little motion. Easily the greatest beginning to a One Piece opening, in my opinion. But Kokoro no Chizu just continues to throw nothing but the best at its viewers, going on to showcase a nice adventurous first verse, an exciting bridge, and an overpowering chorus, featuring a phenomenal montage of action, with my personal highlight being where we see Kaku leaping into the air, and then the camera just immediately dives right past him as he gives it a little glance. And every other scene in the montage is worthy of its own mention, because there is just so much effort that went into crafting every little detail of what's happening here. And the song itself is a true force to be reckoned with. It conveys this great sense of pure energy with a really peppy overtone, but it somehow also allows for the depths of chaotic elements like explosions to take place amongst it. It really is a unique existence and one of the rare openings that I immediately found myself having to download right after I'd seen it. And that's essentially it. I love Kokoro no Chisu. Number two, Brand New World. This is the most underrated opening in anime history. Brand New World took everything Kokoro no Chisu threw at us and amplified it by an order of magnitude, thrusting us straight into the thick of adventure and never once stopping to break, which is a thing you could do when openings were short. All Brand New World does is keep building and building, eventually culminating in yet another stunning action montage, this time featuring the Straw Hats facing off against CP9. And if the moment where Luffy invokes Gear second and fires a jet pistol at Bluno doesn't get you incredibly hyped for what's going on, then I hate to tell you this, but you probably have no soul. There is nothing I can find in the way of criticism to apply to Brand New World. However, I must say that this opening is one of the greatest tragedies of the One Piece anime because it only played for a mere 15 episodes. That's 15, not 50. Because if you don't count the Straw Hat version of We Are, then the openings on either side of Brand New World being Kokoro no Chizu and Crazy Rainbow played for a total of 57 and 42 episodes respectively. 15 episodes is not enough for something as great as Brand New World, and I don't think I'm alone in that opinion. It is simultaneously one of the greatest openings that One Piece has to offer, and the single most wasted opening in two decades of animation. I just don't understand why you would go to all the effort to craft something like this just to dump it after a mere couple of months. A true travesty, but Brand New World will always be a huge part of my world. Although my absolute favorite opening is still to come. Number one, One Day. Oh, what a stupidly good opening. This was a very unexpected victory here because One Day is another one of those slow burn kind of songs, which contains a ton of static action right at the beginning with like Luffy doing a slow walk and showing the Straw Hats doing particularly mundane things aboard the Thousand Sunny, but coupled with the music, which has this similarly slow paced but highly emotive tone, it just works. And context is also very important to remember here because this opening was used during Marineford. And so the Straw Hats have been gone from the series for quite some time. So even being able to watch them do simple stuff was a fierce jolt of nostalgia and one that I can still feel when rewatching this opening to this day. But the beauty of One Day is that while it takes a while to get moving, it just keeps steadily building. And before you know it, the final chorus is showing you action from some of the world's most profound figures with Mihawk Slash in particular being one of my favorite things I have ever seen in an opening. But the core of One Day, which is something I don't think any other One Piece opening has ever done, is that it has a clear through line in that throughout the entire opening, it is about Luffy's journey to reach Ace, which starts out walking and eventually breaks into a run over the course of the song and flashes back to their childhood and it ends 
with Luffy finally reaching him. So unlike most openings, it's not just a random assortment of scenes like the Straw Hats board the ship, marine action, arc specific events, looming world figures, etc. No, One Day actually tells a story of its own, with everything we see, be it friends or foe, serving as either an emotional backdrop or a visual obstacle to reach Ace, which actually perfectly mimics the feeling of Marineford. This opening has no right to be as good as it is. To me, it is a perfect storm of brilliance and one that is going to be near impossible to top for the rest of the lifespan of the series. But that pretty much does it for part two of the Grand Line Review Anime Opening Rankings. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this but applied to other anime among series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenanigans takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment once again with your favorite openings in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.